Oh, America. What have you done now? Now from the looks of it, it look like these women are standing in line to be a scripper, to dance and trick off and to make some money showing their asshole, right? What happened to all the wives? Why aren't these women at home satisfying their man? Cooking for their man, raising the children, keeping peace in the house. This just show me we done fucked up. And all these bitches think they sweet. You know, all these bitches running around here like this shit sweet. That many bitches flying from all over the world trying to hit a lick on a nigga. This is what America done set its men up for. This is sad. We're in the middle of wars, pretty much World War III. They say the kids are reading at a fourth grade level. Children are out here shooting up the damn place. All because women are not doing their job. Women trying to get the bag. These women should be at home, tending to their husbands. Tending and teaching the kids the right way to go, or the moral way to do things. Saving so that they may build a foundation and a uh, and a castle for themselves, right? So that we may live together in unity and harmony. And what we see now is that ain't gonna work out. Look at all these women, black women in particular, who has taken on the image of the whore of Babylon. Now, we know that the white woman is the original whore of Babylon, but her job is to turn the black woman into the whore of Babylon. Now, could you imagine 20 years ago could you imagine back in Dr. King days and uh, Malcolm X days? Could you imagine our women doing this? Could you imagine our women in the hundreds, almost to the thousands, beautiful queens? Could you imagine seeing them? What do you think the Black Panther Party and uh, Malcolm X and King and... and, 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 and you know, Fred Hampton. What do you think they would have had to say about this? This is what our people fought so hard for so we wouldn't get intertwined into the nastiness and the messiness and the horish behaviors of the beast. These women, the majority of them are gorgeous women on the outside. They are beautiful, gorgeous women that 90% of the men will want to marry and have a life with. But their wounds are polluted now. They take, they in a line going to hell. Look at our women. Our women is in a line going to hell. This is how the line's going to be in hell. All your pretty big booty women with white folks hair in their heads, white folks heels on their foot, white folks tampons up their ass. They're going to, this how the line's going to look when hell uh, comes forth. And you wonder what's up with our women. You don't see? Now where are all the black queens? Where is Maxine Waters? And where is the lady that they just nominated Jackson to the Supreme Court Justice? Where is uh, Kamala Harris? Where is all these black women that know black magic? And, you know what I'm saying? Black girl magic and this and that and this and that. Why aren't y'all telling them that what they're doing is sorcery what they're doing is witchcraft what they're doing is going to get 
a whole heap of men sent to hell. Now, money can do a couple of things, right? Money can pay these whores bills or money can build the infrastructure that's needed to be built so that we may thrive and we may flourish as a united people, right? How are you going to do that if you have women that's waiting around to trick you out of all your resources? And the white man ain't buying this. Mm -mm. They trying to sell this to a nigga. Yeah. These, all these whores in your city, in my city. What we gonna do? We have a whore problem. We can never marry women like this. How can I marry a woman like this? And then next week she's talking about she gotta go and script and show her pussy to the people in Miami for spring break or whatever. And I supposed to marry her? I supposed to? No. Who's sponsoring this? Who's doing this, man? This is the destruction of the black community right here. They want to try to hide it. They want to try to manipulate the scene, flood your neighborhood with guns, and trick you into killing yourself, making it look like you're the problem. And the whole time, it's not really you, brothers. It's her. It's her because she won't accept you unless you the big bad wolf and you got all the money in the world she's not going to accept you if you're just a regular dude want a regular life and do regular things this how this 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 is this is an abomination to god you have so many brothers out here not in jail not dead they're out here they don't have a woman I know a lot of brothers that don't have women. The women think they're too good. The women always got some slick shit going on with her where she's selling her ass or got a trick on the line or this and that. So, uh, okay, my thing is this too. Why did the government step in and say niggas that get caught pimping uh, will get like trafficking charges, right? And these whores are trafficking their fucking self. Man, we stay in a fucked up environment and a fucked up society. This society is so nasty toward us. It's so nasty toward us. Now, one thing a man is supposed to be able to enjoy in life. One thing a man is supposed to be able to enjoy in life, and that's his own woman. We haven't been able to do that as black men. Our women always been the white man woman even in the slavery days. But especially today. The slavery days, the black women, they were way more aggressive to the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? The white man couldn't pull what he pulling on them now. If we had the women of yesterday with the men of today, we have been unbuilt the black community and the black infrastructure that's needed to be built in order for us to be successful as a people. Our infrastructure will be way better than the white man's infrastructure. And the reason why I know that, and the reason why I said uh, the old generation of women with the new generation of men, because the old generation of women, they would have followed, reared them children. They would have held all the shit at the home down. All we had to do was handle the business out in the world. You know what I'm saying? Now you niggas handle business out in the world, a bitch still don't know your favorite food. She still don't know how to wash your drawers and this and that. She don't know how to keep you straight or nothing. So, it's like, you know, this all these hoes want to do, sell pussy and fucking get over on you niggas. And you niggas got to send them back, all of them. Send their ass back to poverty. Don't send them to school. Don't get them a fucking business. No, don't ever put them ahead of no men. I always keep them under men. You, when you start putting them over men like that, that's when the curses come. That's when niggas be dying and this and that and woo woo woo. Don't ever. I always put your player partners in power. And the bitch, if she want power, she'll follow you. 
till the next time. Peace.